Veteran CIA officer who drugged and sexually assaulted dozens of women gets 30 years in prison. A longtime CIA officer who drugged, photographed, and sexually assaulted more than two dozen women in postings around the world was sentenced to 30 years in federal prison Wednesday after an emotional hearing in which victims described being deceived by a man who appeared kind, educated and part of an agency that is supposed to protect the world from evil. Brian Jeffrey Raymond, with a graying beard and orange prison jumpsuit, sat dejectedly as he heard his punishment for one of the most egregious misconduct cases in the CIA's history. It was chronicled in his own library of more than 500 images that showed him in some cases straddling and groping his nude, unconscious victims. It's safe to say he's a sexual predator, U.S. Senior Judge Colleen Collar Catelli said in imposing the full sentence prosecutors had requested. You are going to have a period of time to think about this. Prosecutors say the 48-year-old Raymond's assault date to 2006 and tracked his career in Mexico, Peru and other countries, all following a similar pattern. He would lure women he met on Tinder and other dating apps to his government leased apartment and drug them while serving wine and snacks. Once they were unconscious, he spent hours posing their naked bodies before photographing and assaulting them. He opened their eyelids at times and stuck his fingers in their mouths. One by one, about a dozen of Raymond's victims who were identified only by numbers in court recounted how the longtime spy upended their lives. Some said they only learned what happened after the FBI showed them the photos of being assaulted while unconscious. My bo body looks like a corpse on his bed, one victim said of the photos. Now I have these nightmares of seeing myself dead. One described suffering and nervous breakdown. Another spoke of a recurring trance that caused her to run red lights while driving. Many told how their confidence and trust in others had been shattered forever. I hope he is haunted by the consequences of his actions for the rest of his life, said one of the women, who like others stared Raymond down as they walked away from the podium. Reading from a statement, Raymond told the judge that he has spent countless hours contemplating his downward spiral. It's safe to say he's a sexual predator, U.S. Senior Judge Colleen Collar Catelli said in imposing the full sentence prosecutors had requested. You are going to have a period of time to think about this. Prosecutors say the 48 year old Raymond's assault date to 2006 and tracked his career in Mexico, Peru, and other countries, all following a similar pattern. He would lure women he met on Tinder and other dating apps to his government leased apartment and drug them while serving wine and snacks. Once they were unconscious, he spent hours posing their naked bodies before photographing and assaulting them. He opened their eyelids at times and stuck his fingers in their mouths. One by one, about a dozen of Raymond's victims who were identified only by numbers in court recounted how the longtime spy upended their lives. Some said they only learned what happened after the FBI showed them the photos of being assaulted while unconscious. My body looks like a corpse on his bed, one victim said of the photos. Now I have these nightmares of seeing myself dead. One described suffering and nervous breakdown. Another spoke of a recurring trance that caused her to run red lights while driving. Many told how their confidence and trust in others had been shattered forever. I hope he is haunted by the consequences of his actions for the rest of his life, said one of the women, who like others stared Raymond down as they walked away from the podium. Reading from a statement, Raymond told the judge that he has spent countless hours contemplating his downward spiral. But a veil of secrecy still surrounds the Raymond case nearly four years after his arrest. Even after Raymond pleaded guilty late last year, prosecutors have tiptoed around the exact nature of his work and declined to disclose a complete list of the countries where he assaulted women. Still, they offered an unbridled account of Raymond's conduct, describing him as a serial offender whose assaults increased over time and become almost frenetic during his final CIA posting in Mexico City, where he was discovered in 2020 after a naked woman screamed for help from his apartment balcony. U.S. officials scoured Raymond's electronic devices and began identifying the victims he had listed by name and physical characteristics, all of whom described experiencing some form of memory loss during their time with him. One victim said Raymond seemed like a perfect gentleman when they met in Mexico in 2020, recalling only that they kissed. Unbeknownst to the woman, after she blacked out, he took 35 videos and close-up photos of her breasts and genitals. The defendant's manipulation often resulted in women blaming themselves for losing consciousness, feeling ashamed, and apologizing to the defendant, prosecutors wrote in a court filing. He was more than willing to gaslight the women, often suggesting that the women drank too much and that, despite their instincts to the contrary, nothing had happened. 
Raymond, a San Diego native and former White House intern who was fluent in Spanish and Mandarin, ultimately pleaded guilty to four of 25 federal counts including sexual abuse, coercion and transportation of obscene material. As part of his sentence, the judge ordered him to pay $10,000 to each of his 28 victims. Raymond's attorneys had sought leniency, contending his quasi-military work at the CIA in the years following 9-11 became a breeding ground for the emotional callousness and objectification of other people that enabled his years of preying upon women. While he was working tirelessly at his government job, he ignored his own need for help, and over time he began to isolate himself, detach himself from human feelings and become emotionally numb, defense attorney Howard Katzoff wrote in a court filing. He was an invaluable government worker, but it took its toll on him and sent him down a dark path.